We're looking at the famous double T scoreboard here at Jones AT&T Stadium. Usually, it's got bad news for the visitors. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Texas Tech is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Too easy, too easy. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. I thought they might have been able to exploit the over-pursuit of the defense, but not on that play. From their own 15-yard line, second down. Knocked out of bounds around the 21-yard line. Tackle around the 25-yard line. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. Wilson is back to receive. Wilson fields it at the 35, brought down at the 40. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 44. Nice run there. The misdirection play gets him four yards. Brought down at about the 45. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Got the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They go to the left for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 42. Quick throw out to the receiver. What a throw for a big gain. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. From the 37-yard line, second down. Hey, 
with the pass incomplete. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. Might have been some early movement up front. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. And he might want it all here and does. Incomplete. Unable to pick up the first down and the ball will change hands. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Tackle made at the 48. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 30. And he's finally taken down at the 19. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, second down. Big opening. The five. Touchdown, Texas Tech. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 61-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. So the score now, 7-0. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll take it from the two. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. The Red Raiders are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. He's pushed out of bounds at the 23. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 23. And he tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Wilson, back to return it. And he's taken down at the 38. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Texas Tech is up by a touchdown. Got it, but knocked out of bounds for a short loss.
from their own 36-yard line. It's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. I'm here all day. I'm here all day. Mike 56, Mike 56. Go. You ready? Go. 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 They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. It's second and 15. Ball on the 49. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. Texas Tech is up seven. Throws a bullet over the middle. And he's tackled at about the 31. That is money in the bank. Sometimes you just can't stop a good combination. From the 31-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. He's going to try and scramble. And they get the sack. And the linebacker gets in there for the sack. Great time to bring some heat from the linebacker spot. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's into the open field. He's at the 20. He's tackled at the 16. From the 16-yard line, first down. The 10. And down he goes, right around the four-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Red Raiders are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 26. Gets it out quickly. And a pickup of about seven. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Yeah. 
and he just gets rid of it. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Wilson is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Texas Tech's offense right now, I think all you can call is scary. Well, they can attack you in so many different ways. They have a quarterback right now that's getting the ball out of his hands and making great decisions, and they have playmakers all over the field. This offense is tough to stop. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Makes the grab and steps out right away. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. From the 50, it's first down. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. And we've reached the end of one. 14-0, Texas Tech. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. And he can't get away from the pressure. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Fielded at the 19. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. at the 26. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 30. That's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. Wilson is back deep to return. He's to the 40, and down he goes at the 46. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's on the run. Sheds that one. He's knocked out of bounds around the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, first down.
Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Here's an opening. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Texas Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Going deep. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Quick pass, intercepted. Brought down at the 31-yard line. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. Zips it right. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 17-yard line, first down. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Touchdown, Texas Tech! That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Got the corner. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. I think I can count on one hand the last time I saw this good a defensive performance where you had a chance for a shutout. Are you kidding me? In college football today, with the spread and the running quarterbacks and all the speed and space, these guys got a chance to put up a shutout. The junior makes the catch, and he hits him hard at the 28. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Take four. 
It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. He flings it over the middle. The defender had it and then dropped it. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Gets rid of it quickly. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down around the 31-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. How about that defensive play? Yeah, somebody better go get the trainer. I'll tell you what, that tailback is lucky to still have his helmet on after that shot. And he's tackled after positive yardage. First and 10, ball on the 27. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the ninth play of this drive. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 17. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Got some open field. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 42. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. Back carries for a pickup of three. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 47. Right 
Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And down he goes around the 23-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. And he's tackled at the 31. From their own 31-yard line, it's first down. Just throws this one away. And he's hit immediately. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. From their own 44 yard line. First down. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Fires it out. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 43. Under pressure. They'll make the sack. He airs it out. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11-play, 81-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. He'll return it from the three. And he's tackled at the 48. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. That's frustrating for a coach when you preach fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Makes it out to about the 26. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 
The Red Raiders lead it by two touchdowns. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Let's not get too carried away by the stats in the first half, but it is noteworthy. Less than six yards per pass attempt. Now, we talk to coaches around the country. They always want those explosive plays, big chunk plays, not getting it in this game. Might be an indication there's not really that deep threat that strikes fear into the defense on the outside. Uh, the, the hardest thing for a corner is always facing a speedster, facing somebody that can stretch the field because then it makes you backpedal and really makes you, you know, take away that deep ball first and bail out of there. And then sometimes it opens up the underneath stuff where you give a cushion to a receiver. So I think the offense has to find playmakers. They got to find ways to take shots, run some different routes to find some creative ways to get some guys open because right now the little dink and dunk stuff isn't working. You're not threatening me down the field. I don't need to cover the whole field. We're bringing everybody up near the line of scrimmage and just taking away the short stuff. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He'll return it from the four-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 33. We're about set to start things up again. I'm going to run you over. I'm going to run you over. Play 56, play 56. Blue seven. Tackle around the 45-yard line. From their own 45-yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Too easy, too easy. Tight end left, tight end left. Four down, four down. Mike 56, Mike 56. On the ground with the tailback. Runs right for a nice game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Mike 56, Mike 56. He's on the run. He makes his way to about the 38. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And they hit him in the backfield. From the 43 yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. Makes the grab and steps out right away. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. First and 10. Ball on the 15. Little screen pass. And he is drilled at the 11. They just took what the defense gave them on that play. Yeah, you're right. That was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage. We're at play number nine of this current drive. He might have a chance. Touch. 
down, Red Raiders. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he converts the extra point. Texas Tech to kick this one off. Tackle at the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Caught with room to work. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. What a great play. This is the timing that we talked about in the pregame that they must have in order to be successful with their passing game. That time, the quarterback threw it to a spot, and his receiver was there to make a nice grab. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. He scrambles, and he's sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. Dropped him for the second straight time. You know, the offense might want to make an adjustment and have one of their running backs help out in pass protection. You don't want this young guy getting tentative and making mistakes. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. Stover gains four yards on that reception. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Brought down at midfield. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Gets to around the 42. Gains his way to the 26 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Nice run there. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 56, Mike 56. 
up the middle for a nice gain. Solid five-yard pickup there on the halfback option. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. The 10, and that sets them up with a first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Touchdown, Texas Tech. He's having quite a game, three rushing touchdowns now. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he hits the PAT. A nice nine-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He'll take it from the two, and down he goes at the 20-yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. And he hits him hard at the 12. <laughs> Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. And they got him. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They'll bring him down around the seven-yard line. Wilson is the deep man awaiting the return. Wilson takes it at the 47, and he's taken down at the 42-yard line. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Texas Tech up big right now in this one. after a decent run up the gut. They're about four yards away here on second down. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Scooped up by the defense. I tell you, when the option works, it can be beautiful to watch. But when it doesn't, it can go horribly wrong. Not a good result for the offense. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And he's level at the 38. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Let's it fly. He's taken down at the 22. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Motion, motion, motion. 
He's going left. Throws complete. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. That's a great tackle at the 41. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. And now he's going to run. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line. Second down. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Red Raiders with a three touchdown advantage. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Check 83, ball's going to 83. Mike 56, Mike 56, and four. And then, and four. Motion, motion, motion. He's knocked out of bounds at the 43. For Texas Tech, they're having success rushing the passer tonight. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. They also have that one takeaway. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. No, they haven't. So maybe they should just focus a bit more on the running game to mix it up and keep the defense guessing. It's been a very well-rounded effort for this entire team, not just the defense. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Here's the pass. Broken up. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up, and something good may just happen. From their own 31-yard line, second down. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He did not get to the first down marker. They're all tied in on the line here on fourth and short. Gets to about the 41-yard line. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to around the 32. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Check 
He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 26. Grabs it and hammered right there. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle around the 21-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. And they got him. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 20. Caught, open field, knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. The quarterback has some room. And they finally knock him out at the 25-yard line. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. Tailback brought down for a loss. Taken down at the 18-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, and the defensive line won that battle easily. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. And he 
Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 29. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Throws it deep. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle made at the 26. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 20. Too tight, too tight. Four down, four down. At 58 is the right. Well, 58 is the right. Down, cut. Next one. And they make the stop at the 10. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Nice run up the middle. That's the way you slide on the ball. Reset, cut right. At 58 is the fight. Go 58 is the fight. Let's go one more. Damn. Got a man open. Touchdown. He's thrown his third touchdown pass of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. What's more amazing than anything else is that these guys are still losing. And he converts the extra point. This receiver's been having himself a great game. Uh, you know, Brad, he's just one of those go-to guys. And when he catches fire, there's just not a lot of defense can do to slow him down. He's blowing big holes through them on a clip of over 20 yards a grab. He'll come back out with the offense, hoping to help them put points on the board. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one which ended in a touchdown. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He chucks it downfield. That close to being intercepted. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. From their own 46-yard line, it's second down. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Brought down at the 42. Going long. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. He's up to four TD passes now. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. Talk about a great catch. When you've got playmakers who can make catches like that, it can really make a good quarterback great. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 54-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They were really hoping to get the ball back there. Well, now they have to call on their defense to make something happen. They need a big play right here to get that ball back. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's at the 30, gains his way to the 23-yard line. Nice 
run there. The Raging Cajuns will use their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll bring him down at about the seven-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Touchdown, Red Raiders. That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. He makes the PAT. So a five-play, 43-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. Stover from the one. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. Oh, they're putting up points here in the fourth quarter, but it really doesn't matter because of the first 45 minutes. Well, maybe this will help them in the next game that they play, but you got to play four quarters to have a chance to be competitive. Here comes the offense as they look to find the end zone yet again. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Gets it out quickly, and he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. The spike will stop the clock. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. A little over a minute in the game. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He gets hit out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Quickly shoved out of bounds. He's going to go for the home run. Nice catch on that one. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Spikes the ball. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he throws it away. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. He rifles it to the left. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. We have less than a minute to go. And they get nice yardage on that run. second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down and that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 51 31 that brings this broadcast to a close for EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.